Okay. Hello, kamusta ka ngayon? Ilang ka? Uh, naintindihan mo na ba yung lesson natin kahapon? Apo. So, nakita ko parang may maliga. E squared, 2B, 3B. Okay. So, dito. Number one is correct. Okay. Pero dito, pagdating dito sa a to the a minus 5, bakit mo tinanggal yung ano? Yung um, may 1. O, tingnan natin ha. A times a, you have a squared, di ba? So, correct ka dyan. A times 5, negative 5a. That's also correct. Then, 6 times a, that is positive 6a, di ba? Okay, positive 6a. Then, positive 6 times negative 5, that is negative 30. Then, let's bring down and add negative 5 plus positive 6. Hmm, 6 plus 5. I 6 minus 5. 1. So, huwag mo kakalimutan. Meron pa rin siyang 1. That is still a value. Minus 30. So, may natirang A sa kanya. Okay? Ha? Hindi porky po. Not zero. Natanggalin mo lang pag nag zero. Okay? Maintindihan, Janelle? Uh, next. Can you try the number three? Kasi nagkamali ka doon ulit. Try, try it dito sa, ah, hindi mo pala kaya dito sa board, no? Why am I try? Why am I try isolve dito sa board? Ha, ah, Janelle? Why am I try gamitin tong board, yung touchpad mo? Sige, gamit Try na po po. I'm going to write the problem, ha? Huh? Hmm, B minus 3. Sige. Say hi. Janelle ito. Hi! <laughs> Ali ka dali. Hindi, ali ka muna dito. Pakita ka dito. Hi, Sel. Ayaw mo lang mag-aral. <laughs> ha? Tama, hindi mo to alam. Mas advanced na siya kaysa sa iyo. Hindi na ako teacher mo. Sige ka. Tali na muna ako. <laughs> Bahay, Hi! 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 Yes, and then, lagay mo na lang sa itaas. Yung sagot. So, what is your middle term? Anong middle term mo? Very good. So, did you get it? So, 
Ganyan yung answer. Okay? Very good. Ah, sir, mamaya pa po ang meeting. Okay, so may meeting kasi kami mamaya ang 2 o'clock. Yung mga pumapasok na parents. Okay, so very good, Janelle. Next. So yun lang yung mali mo. Doon ka lang nagkamali. But the rest, tama naman. Itong last one, C squared, negative C, negative 4C, very good then. So ito ay nagkaroon lang ng middle term. Okay? But the rest, very good. Now, alam mo naman kung anong opposite ng ating multiplication, di ba? What is the opposite of multiplication? Yes. What is the opposite of multiplication, Janelle? Division. What is the opposite of multiplication? It is division. Okay? So, division of a polynomial by a monomial. Okay? The spelling of monomial. Okay. Ano ba yun? So, paano nag-divide? If you are given 15, y to the fourth power minus 12 y cubed Divided by 3y. Ah, teka, wait. Ibrahim ko lang muna pa. Let me review you dun sa loss exponent, okay? Okay, can you still remember this one? Janelle, 15 oh, y to the fourth divided by 3 oh. y to the fourth. Sige nga, solve it. Solve it on the board. Is that your answer? May why pa ba? May why pa ba na? Ha? Wala na po. Wala na. Tama. So, ang sagot mo na lang ay 5. Okay? Okay. Very good. So, wala na itong 5. So, burahin lang natin itong Ay, itong y to the fourth power. So, ang sagot ay 5 na lang. Kasi, na-cancel na itong si y to the fourth. Diba? Naging 0 na. Kaya, y raised to the zero power is equal to 1. At ito, kinancel naman. Kasi they have a GCF. At the GCF nila ay 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. So, 5 times 1, yung natira dito, is equal to 5. Okay? Did you get it? Oh, ngayon naman, hmm, let me explain to you, bakit nga ba nakikancel yan? For example, 2x squared over 
x. Okay? Look at this. Look at this, Janelle. What are the factors of 12? Yung prime factors. O, tingnan natin, ha? Si 12, ang factors niyan ay 4 and 3. Diba? Si 4, pwede pa natin paliitin yan. 2 at saka 2. Diba? Kaya lahat ng factors nito ni 12 ay lagay natin dito lahat ng prime factors. 2 times 2 times 3. And then Look at the board mo na, Janelle. Don't copy. I'm going to give I'm going to give you the copy of this one. Okay? So 2 times 2 times 3 times x times x. Okay? Ganyan yan, diba? Pag in-expand natin, over, ito namang isa, 2 times x. Okay? So cancel natin. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng Division. Cancel natin yung mga pwedeng i-cancel. So, this one canceled na. Kasi 2 divided by 2 is 1. Okay? Ano pa yung pwede natin dyan i-cancel? Ito. X. X. Very good. So, 1 na lang din na natira. May natira ba kay sa baba? So, 1 times 1 is 1. At ito sa taas. 2 times 1 times 3, 6, at saka si x. Ito na tira. 2 times 3 times x. O, ilan na tira? Tatlo. O nga, 2 times 3. Solve it. 2 times 3 is? 6. six. And then, just copy yung natirang variable. And that's the answer. Okay? Nakuha? Sige. Huwag ka mag-alala. Isasend ko sa'yo itong lecture mo. Okay? Next. Um, example, 50. Ah, hindi. Medyo liitan natin. Mm. 10 x y squared and then 5 x y okay, sige nga, try to solve this one on the board, Janelle Sige, expand mo.
Hmm? Hindi mo makuha? Okay, sige. 10? Ano ang factors ni 10? What are the factors Five. of 10? Five. 5 and 2. Diba? So, sulat natin dito ha. 2 times 5. Next. Oh, si x naman. Expand din natin. Tsaka si y squared. Sige. Hmm. You try to expand it there. Hmm. Sige. Lagay mo yung ano. Si x and y naman. Imumultiply. Ina-expand pa lang natin ha. Hindi pa tayo nagka-cancel. Very good. Pati po yung 2. So, ibig sabihin ng y squared, di ba? Dalawang y, minimultiply mo yung yung y ng dalawang beses. Kaya, you have another y there. Okay? Okay, very good. Oh, next. Sa baba, ano naman yun ang sa baba? Five. Hmm, sige, write it. Okay, very good. Next, cancel mo naman yung mga pwede i-cancel. Yung 5. Very good. Sige. Yung x and y. Mm -hmm. So, sino yung natira? Two times y. Very good. So two times y is also equal to. So sulat mo sa baba. Two. Two lang. Two hmm? y. Very good. Two y. So write it. Write it down. Yeah. Very good. That's how you divide. Diba? Madali ba? Ha? Oh, tingnan naman natin itong isa. Let's clear again. Um,
negative 1? Tama, negative 1. Bakit? Because this is 7 times x times y, right? At si negative 1, meron din siya. Okay? So, separate lang natin si negative 1. Okay? Si negative, separate natin. Kaya ako nilagay ng 1. Okay? Then, si positive 1 nandito sa kabila. Diba? Para lang makita mo lang yung yung negative and positive. Then, na-cancel na siya lahat. Ang natira na lang ay si negative 1 divided by positive 1. So, ang answer is negative 1. Negative 1. Okay? You understand now? Apo. Okay, very good. Now, let us try this naman. Paano kung polynomial na? Over 3y. Okay? So, ang ibig sabihin nito, pag nakaganito, okay, eto daw, si 15y to the 4th minus si 12y. So, we have two terms. Basta separated siya ng plus and minus, may addition and subtraction, two terms yan, di ba? So, they are considered a binomial or a polynomial. So, ang gagawin natin, separate muna natin sila. Kasi ito ay monomial lang to. So, ibig sabihin nito, ang denominator ng bawat isa dito ay 3y. So, let us separate. Minus 12y squared over 3y. Ganyan ang ibig sabihin niyan. Okay? Now, let us subtract. Pwede na natin to subtract, di ba? How about finding the GCF? Ito at kanina. Ito ay 3, di ba? 3 divided by 3, that is 1. 15 divided by 3, this one is 5. And then, yung apat na y. O, ilan na natira dito kay y? Ito, wala na tong y sa baba. E dito, may natira ba? May natira ba dito kay y to the fourth? 5. Hindi, ito. 4 minus 1. Di ba may 1 na exponent yan? So, si y mayroon pang 3. Okay? So, natira dito, 5y cubed. So, ito. Sulat natin na 5y cubed. Next, dito naman sa isa. Okay? Ano GCF nila? 3. 3, 3 divided by 3? 1. 3. Okay? 12 divided by 3? 12 divided by 3 is? 4, diba? Ay? Hmm? 4. Okay? Four. So, ito naman, 2 minus 1. Diba pag dinidivide natin, may na-minus natin exponent. 2 minus 1 is equal to? 1. So, may natirang y sa itaas. So, ang answer dito ay 4y. So, the answer to this polynomial divided by a monomial is 5y cubed minus 4y. Okay? May question ka ba? O nalilito ka pa? Nalilito pa. Medyo nalilito pa? Ah, sige ha. Um, let's try another one. M to the fifth. Uh, M to the fourth. Plus M to the seventh. I'll try that one. So, anong muna gagawin mo? What is the first thing to do? Paghiwalayin mo ko na sila. Very good. Sige, paghiwalayin mo. Hmm. 
Hindi ko pa rin mag-gets mo. Okay, hindi mo pa rin makuha. Sige. Let us check. So, pag-iwalayin muna natin ha. M to the fifth at over M to the fourth. Plus M raised to the seventh power and M to the fourth. Okay? So, di ba ganyan yan pag pinaghiwalay natin? Ha? Di ba ganyan? Okay. So, ano sinabi ko sa loss of exponent? Yung nauna tinuro ko sa'yo. Kapag division, di ba may na minus lang natin? We only subtract the exponents. So, ito ay 5 minus 4. Pareho naman sila na M. So, 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. So, kailangan pa ba natin isulat yung exponent ng 1? Hindi na. Diba? Very good. Hindi na po. How about naman dito? M raised to the 7th power tsaka M raised to the 4th. 7 minus 4. 3. M3. So, M cubed. 3. So that is the answer. Di ba? Kasi hindi naman natin pwedeng pagsamahin si m cube at saka si m. Kahit pareho silang m. Dahil addition yan. Kailan lang natin pwede pagsamahin yung mga m kahit different ang exponents? It can be sa so multiplication and division. Okay? Doon lang natin. Pero pag addition and subtraction, pag magkaiba sila ng exponent, kahit pareho pa sila ng letra, hindi sila pwede pagsamahin. Okay? Did you get it? Huh? Let's have another example. Hmm. Oh, ikaw naman this time, ha? Hmm. Sige, ikaw.
M3 plus M5. Huh? M? M9 plus to the power of 9 plus M to the power of 5. Very good! Ang galing talaga ni Janelle. Very good. So this one is a division of polynomial by a monomial. Okay? So, I'll give you another one. Tingnan natin kung kaya mo pa rin. Let's use a negative. Minus naman tayo. Ha? Hmm, try that one. Twelve minus x seven. Huh? X x twelve minus seven. Very good. Hanggaling na talaga ni Janelle. Oh, sige, isa pa ha. Habaan naman natin. What if you have a negative in the back? Seven m squared plus eight m six. How about the negative? Eight. How about the negative? Negative seven. Tama. Negative seven. So lalagay sa taas kasi hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng negative sa baba. So negative seven m squared. Tapos. Negative eight and six minus ah, ne negative. Tama, negative ah. pa rin, okay? Magiging negative na siya kasi negative yung denominator niya sa baba. The next, oh, tingnan mo naman itong huli. 
Negative divided by negative is positive. Okay? So what's your answer? Negative 7 squared minus 8 m6 plus 12 m8. Plus 12 m8. Very good. 8. Okay. Uh, let's try this one a moment. So take note of the negative sign, huh? Okay, can you try that? Sixteen B squared C squared plus nine B C minus sixteen. Sixteen? Sixteen ang sagot mo? Twenty-four divided by four? Or six? Six. So, hindi po yung sixteen. Ah, okay. Plus eight B C minus sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, ang galing. Very good. This is correct. Okay, isa pa. Lagyan kita ulit ng negative. Ha? Thank <laughs> you. 
What is your answer? Negative 4x7 plus 8x squared y plus 9xy two squared. Okay, we'll let negative 4xy squared plus, plus 8x squared y. Plus nine x y squared. Plus ba? Look, positive divided by negative. Huh? Negative. So negative negative nine, negative nine y squared. Okay. Because na cancel na si x to the fifth, di ba? Okay, are you ready for your seat work? Ready ka na? Sige. Wala yun eh. Pantay na.
Careful with the negatives, huh? Thank you. 
Tapos padala mo sa akin ha, dito sa messenger para ma-check natin. Thank you. 
Di ba minus mo? Saan ilalagay dito pa din? Oo. Ang hindi pa ba pa? Hindi pa ba pa din? Ang hindi na. 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 Wala kasi ang pinapoint ko at ang tinanong ko naman kasi dito. Hindi yung minus negative yun. Pwede mo na. Pwede ba yun? Oo, oh, negative po. Tapos pwede mo rin ibaba. Tapos sa akin. Okay. Okay. Uh, or lang siya. Pura yung negative nga yun. Ipababa eh. Hindi, tingnan natin. Okay, let us check Janali. <laughs> okay, so ano sagot mo dito sa number one? Okay, so ang sagot mo at five. Ano ba? Kasi 60 divided by 12 is equal to 5. And then you subtracted itong itong isa, di ba? 5. 5. 5. V to the 4th power minus 96 divided by 12 is 8 and then 11 minus 5 is 6. Very good. Next, let us check 39 divided by 13. You have 3. Okay, very good. And then 8 um, R squared S squared minus 65 divided by 13 is 5 R. Okay, look at this one. Look at this, ha? Huh? Ito si 2. Purahin ko muna ito para makapag-solve ako. Kung Janelle, nakita mo yung number 2. Ibrahim ko lang muna ito ah. Okay. So we have 39. Paghiwalayin muna natin para makita mo. 
and then 13 r to the 6 s to the 4 minus 65 r squared s to the 8 power 13 r to the 6 power s to the 4 minus 117 Okay. Sige. 65 divided by 13. So, tama ka dito sa una, no? We have 3 R squared S squared. Oh, 65 divided by 13, yeah, that is 5. But look at R. Tignan mo si R. Si 2 ay mas maliit kaysa sa baba. So, kanino natira si R? So, nandito siya sa baba. Okay? And then, yes. Then, S squared. Okay? Next, minus 117 divided by 13. That is 9 R. Yun na lang natira. Kasi S5 is already cancelled. Okay? Ma'am, pwede po ba yung negative mo sa taas? Pwede. Okay? So, pwede natin ilagay yung negative sa itaas. So, kung gusto mo tanggalin yung uh, division sign, so, pwede yun. Magiging, ang sagot niya ay 5R to the negative 4 S squared. Oh, ibig sabihin yan, 4 ay nasa baba. Okay? Remember yung negative exponents na tinuro ko sa'yo? Ha? Do you remember that, the negative exponents? Ba? Bakit siya nagiging negative exponent? Kasi nandoon siya sa baba talaga. Okay? Do you remember that? Sige. Very good. So now you understand why this one is negative 4 and bakit ito ay may over. Okay? Okay. Uh, how about number 3? So, tingnan natin si number 3. Let's write it again. 35. Sino katabi mo dyan? May kapatid ka pa ba dyan? Talaga, may kapatid ka pala. Kala ko only child dyan. Ilan ba kayo magkakapatid? Apat po. Wow, ang dami. Pareho pala sa akin. Pang ilan nga? Bunso pa. Oh, really? Apat. So pala ang bunso, pareho kay ni Naomi. Okay? So, let us try. 35 divided by negative 5. It will be negative... negative. Eh, ba't wala ka negative? Negative dito. Ha? Nakalimutan mo yung negative. Next. Ah. Oh, pati yung isa, wala rin negative. 55 divided by negative 5 is also negative 11 C squared D to the 4th minus Oh, minus pa ba yung huli? Negative divided by negative is positive. So, 70 divided by negative 5. That is positive 14 na. Diba? C and D, Q. Okay? So, nagkamali ka dun sa pangalawa and sa pangatlo. Okay, bibigyan pa kita na seed work and then send it to me, ha? Huh? Okay, Janelle. So, nakita mo yung mali mo kanina pag 
Kapag may natira sa ibaba, pwede mo siya ilagay sa taas by using the negative sign. Okay? And then, ito naman, pag dinidivide mo naman siya sa negative, syempre magiging negative na. Diba? Sa multiplication and division of integers, if you have like signs, you have positive. But if you have unlike signs, it is always negative. Okay? I'll give you the last one. So this will be your assignment. Ito na magkamali, ha? Originally, I've sent you the yung sheet work mo. Then, send mo sa akin para ma-checkan ko agad. Ha? Okay? Huwag ka na magkakamali. Ha? So, if it's a, kung nasa baba siya, natira siya, you can use a negative sign. Okay? Ha? And then, copyin mo na lang yung mga lectures mo na sinend ko sa'yo. And then, put the title para hindi mo makakalimutan pag nag-aral ka na. Ha? Huh? Okay, it's already on Messenger. Okay? Goodbye, Janelle. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.